<laughs> How is it? Hi, Bobby. How is it? Let's go. It's nice. It's nice? All right. Got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, this one's extra special. We're gonna take you to the historical jungle trail. That's right, the historical jungle trail. It really exists, and we're gonna take you there today with our conversion van. Then we're also gonna visit the Pelican Island National Wildlife Refugee, the first of its kind in America. Well, not only that, we're going to show you the beach, but then an extra treat. We've got a bonus. That's right. We're going to check out the Treasure Museum right down the street. So overall, we're located right now in eastern Florida, north of Vero Beach. And here you can see the trail that goes eight miles down. And believe it or not, this is just south of Cape Canaveral, north of West Palm Beach. It's a great area to visit. You're going to really enjoy this. We actually were able to get our conversion version van out you won't find another YouTube video with a class B coachman beyond doing four wheeling with this Ford all-wheel drive chassis twin turbo so let's talk about this place it is remarkable the historical jungle trail winds for nearly eight miles along the sandy roads through the hammock habitat of Florida's barrier islands in north of Vero Beach like I mentioned the trail it's really more of a dirt road is on the National Register of Historic Places it was built back in the 1920s so citrus growers could haul their produce up and down the barrier island. Although cars do drive, especially on the north side of the road, it's mostly used by cyclists, walkers, joggers, you name it. It is beautiful and a great place to visit. At the northern end of the point, the trail begins in Pelican Island National Wildlife Re Refuge, which we're going to show you today. They've got a whole bunch of hiking trails, some two and a half mile loops to check out all of the wildlife. It is fantastic. But the main takeaway, this is the nation's first wildlife refugee established back in 1903 by Teddy Roosevelt to protect the birds from feather hunters. Bird feathers were widely used to decorate women's hats in the early 20th century, and Florida's barrier islands were teeming with the most vulnerable uh, bird species, and this is definitely something you're going to want to check out in the video because you're going to get to see all the different birds, over a hundred different types. We've got nesting wood storks, pelicans, egrets, herons, ospreys, you name it, they're there. Lots of fun for kayakers and canoers and fishermen, you name it. This is a great place to visit right, right near the Indian River Lagoon and the beaches are phenomenal. We'll show you those and maybe some treasures that are in the Treasure Museum. So let's sit back, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. It would mean a lot to help promote the video and thank you so much for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors. Roosevelt, old Teddy, in 1903, established America's first national wildlife refugee. Pretty amazing. He uh, was a great president, always thinking about the wildlife. And then, as you can see here, launching the world's greatest system of land for wildlife in this whole area. 95 million acres were all a part of this national wildlife refugee. Pretty amazing, and we're at the very first one from 1903. Let's go take a look and check it out. So 
if it wasn't enough for Teddy Roosevelt to establish 54 of these national reserves in his timeline, but guess what, in 1909, he came right back here at Pelican Island and added more acreage. That's right, three more islands were added to this mangrove island, so he loved this park. Teddy Roosevelt loved this place. I mean, this is really beautiful. And the mangroves, they are stunning. So we ended up taking Alice and her parents on the Bird Impoundment Foot Trail, which is a two and a half mile loop. There's a couple of different loops you can take, but we really enjoyed that one. And here is some of the footage from that trail. And then we'll head on to the Jungle Trail and you're gonna love that. You've been behind us the whole time. Um, I don't know how I got around you guys. Uh, I'm just glad you made it back to the start. So after some of the team had finished the two and a half mile loop, brought us right back to the parking lot and we got in the Discovery bus and headed off to the historical Jungle Trail. That's right. That's the trail we talked about early on. And we're gonna take you down the trail with the Class B RV van. And uh, we did some four wheeling, but we also got to see some cool sights. So sit back and enjoy. And then we're gonna head off to the beach and also check out the Treasure Museum right after this short drive on the trail. The farther we got down the trail, the muddier the uh, road got, and quite honestly, with the all-wheel drive Ford chassis, it handled it uh, perfectly fine, even though it's not designed for any type of off-roading. It's a classic Class B RV uh, conversion van, so I'm sure this is the first YouTube video out there with a Coachman Beyond 22C making its way through some mud and you're gonna see we got into some good four-wheeling here in a minute but uh, overall we uh, hope you enjoy some of uh, this off-road with the conversion van. folks we got a great video for you today we believe this is the first ever 4x4 backwoods you know it with a coachman beyond that's right we bought the all-wheel drive that's right with the discovery bus and we're ready to get out there and do it take a look at what we've been going through on the jungle trail We 
really enjoyed the historical jungle trail. It has so much history and it was just fun to get to drive down it and uh, look around. Some of the views were spectacular. But from there, we decided to hit the beach right across the main highway. And uh, we wanted to start off with this really cool treasure museum we found. So this was kind of uh, not planned and uh, we really found it to be quite interesting. And uh, we're gonna go to the beach right after this, but take a look at the treasure museum. Hi, welcome everyone to the treasure museum. Today we are here with Corey that knows every secret about this uh, place. So that's her. Look at, look at Gypsy's already looking around. So she's enjoying it for sure. And uh, tell us a little bit about this place. Pretty Hi, awesome. Guys. Look at this so cannon, the, wow. The Macquarie Treasure Museum is on the actual site of the 1715 Fleet Survivors Camp. There were 11 ships that went down in 1715. The Capitana was right out our back door here. And uh, this is the site where everybody came together and lived here. And then they had a salvage camp, and then they had a pirate camp, and then they had another salvage camp. And this right here was actually kind of special to that, at least according to the hypothesis of the day and so this was probably one of the roughly 50 cannons that was off the Nuestra Senora de la Regla out here wow. and it was actually found in a different place and so it's led to a hypothesis that it's possible that the four cannons that were found over here were the four cannons that would have guarded against the pirates and Henry Jennings raided here with Black Sam Bellamy and Charles Vane so when all these famous people came in here they stared these down, went around them, and came and got whatever silver and gold they wanted pretty much. Uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't extremely well defended at that time. Wow, so full of today. silver and gold too, yeah, right? These, these ships? Uh, were some of the richest wrecks when put together um, of Spanish history because they hadn't gotten any silver or gold yep. for about 15 years. And so the king's like, send me everything you got. And then a hurricane wiped it out on Florida and we still have probably at least a half a billion dollars worth of treasure out there that people are always searching for. So. Wow, that is awesome. Now, is this run by the state of Florida? This is state of Florida. It was donated to the state of Florida as part of Sebastian Inlet State Park with the contingency that we had to run a museum. And I'm from here. Okay. So I took a nice pay cut to come over here and run the museum. That's and we're awesome. raising a million dollars to make it significantly better in the long run. All right, so at this point, you have to tell us, what are the gold and silvers here? Oh, well, the gold and silver is mostly out in the water. Um, and do you so have any in have the to, museum? You'd have to have a salvage. I do have some here in the museum. We're actually the hopeful millions of dollars worth of stuff that we will get in here if we raise the million dollars is the part is in Tallahassee. So oh, okay. we're hoping to make it a lot more bling in here. I do have some gold and silver in here. And there's metal detectors who find it on the beach all the time. And salvagers, there was 20 plus boats that were uh, out there last season. So there's still plenty of it out there, but uh, I'll show you a couple of things over here. I mean, this one's gonna be a really sad story though. Okay. Are you okay for a sad yeah, story? Yeah, let's do a sad right. story. Okay. All so right. Super sad story. When I was 15 years old, I actually found a silver ingot. Wow. And so I was walking along the beach, I picked it up, and it looked like a big heavy rock paver and that's what i thought it was and that's what i get for not being educated about history threw it off came back here 30 years later when i started and uh kicked myself a little bit because it's worth like 15 to 20. wow awesome it's part of growing up on the train because <laughs> Thanks so much, we really appreciate it. It was a great time. And thanks, thanks for staying a little bit later for how to have fun outdoors. I know we were late, but really appreciate the uh, tour. And uh, All right. 
Thanks so much. Thank you so much and happy holidays. Well, after the Treasure Museum, it was time to hit the beach. And boy, oh boy, is it a beautiful beach. We actually had a great time. We took the dogs out and uh, also got to see the sunset. Um, and we're going to take you there now. Here we are, we found the spot. This is it, where he told us to go. We yes, follow the trail. Because the treasure is right there, so we have to go and find it. He told us right where the people go that actually explore. We went to the broken branch off the long tree, off that trail, walked all the way here, and here we are. So let's see if we can find it. You ready? Let's go yes. get the gold. And you know, the bottom line is we're gonna go swimming. Let's do it, you gotta get in the water. All right, let's do it. It's a little late in the day. It's a little chilly. Yes, yes, but I'm motivated. I really want this treasure to happen. Okay. We're going to get the treasure. All right. And here we go, folks. All right. Let's do it. The paparazzi just keeps following you. I know. These helicopter guys, what's That's going on? Bad. All right, Alice, I saw you got four silver coins. Did you find any gold coins out there? I found only one gold coin. How about you, Angelo? I found two gold coins. Hey! Yes, Angelo, well, man, more good. English. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, Theo, what do you think? No coins! Ah, you guys lied! They said you found no coins! We had a great time. We hope you enjoy this video. Uh, the historical jungle trail, Pelican Island, the Treasure Museum, the beach, all phenomenal. And if you're in this area, definitely check it out. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we've got a special treat for you. We had Alice's parents, her mom and dad, who don't speak English, over from Italy. They were part of the day's festivities, and we taught some English to them for this video and here are some of the outtakes pretty fun and the clothes with the leche thanks again for watching how to have fun outdoors and here you go hey dad it was a big walk yes it was a big walk <laughs> well i <laughs> you gotta say where were you and you gotta say two and a half miles Say two and a half hey miles. dad two and a half mile it was a big walk yes it was <laughs> a big walk where were you i was right uh right i passed you guys <laughs> hey <laughs> well done <dad>. outdoors <laughs> <laughs> no not yet we 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 gotta <laughs> save that until <laughs> Pelican Island was a really great surprise. We really enjoyed the hike, we had some fun, we watched great birds and their fishes jumping all over. We also taught my dad some English and I really hope that everybody enjoyed. Please subscribe, hit the like button and thank you so much for watching. How do we have fun outdoors?